Hello, darlings. Happy Monday to everybody. Welcome to a brand new week on this channel. And welcome to Let's Build. It feels like a long bloody time since I've said that. Um, I had so much fun last week doing something a little bit different, just mixing the channel up entirely with a new series. Had so much fun, but I'm ready and cracking to get on with the final build of Strangerville. This is going to be the last build before the save file gets released next week. Um, and it's going to be something a little bit special today. I really wanted to get some representation in for Native American Sims or Native Americans in general. And I really wanted to build something quite special. So today what we're going to do is we're building an arts and craft shop for a family I have in mind. I haven't made the family yet. I'm in the process of making this family, so I'm not going to know names. But what we're going to do is we're going to create a arts and craft shop that the the mum and the daughter actually run. They're quite heavy into craft crafting. And that's like a grandparent and like a mum, if you know what I mean. Um, older, like you know not like a child running a shop and then the mum has actually got she's got two children uh, a boy and a girl and a husband as well so it's a good family of five that i really want to be moving into this lot primarily we're going to make it a shop we're going to make it a craft store where handmade goods tapestries jewelry done with turquoise and i'm not going to be able to find that in the sims but we're just going to have to use our imaginations for this really um and at the back, we're going to do some places where they sleep and they stay. But in my head, this family actually live on a reservation somewhere in the world or just outside of Strangerville with a big community. And then what they've got up on this particular lot is a store where they sell all of their goods. And it's quite famous. People have been coming here for years. They're very friendly. But we're going to have to try and make it look like they live there as well because... That's just the Sims. It's just the way we've got to go. But in our heads, in our minds and imaginations, they live on a reservation with the rest of their tribe, with the rest of their family and friends. And I really, really want to go down that route with this one. So it is primarily going to be a store. But what we're going to do is have areas as well where they can eat, they can sleep, they can cook. They've got backyard area. I'm going to try and do like a little chicken coop as well. Maybe some animals. We haven't got animals in the Sims 4, I know. But I just want that kind of vibe for this. Um, yeah, we're going to go down that route. It sounds exciting. going to make the store look kind of, I don't know, like a bit of a cabin, like a log looking cabin, I think, around that kind of like vibe. Uh, quite warm woods, lots of colours on the inside, lots of natural textures. Um, yeah, no, I, I want to go down that route. And I think it's going to be cool doing this. I have... I, I was like, well, how am I going to do this? It's been a long time thinking for this particular build because I've really wanted to pay respect and do my best at bringing representation from people that are not myself. You know, I'm I'm not Native American, obviously. I'm English, but I just want to try and do my best to, you know, get that representation out there. Now, I may get words. I may pronounce words wrong. I may get um, kind of traditions and stuff wrong as well so if i do then just please let me know in the comments kindly nobody has to be an asshole about it this is our community after all none of us are assholes here really but if you want to help me and um let me know things then as always the comment box is open my loves so without further ado i think what we're going to do is go and start working on the exterior today we're probably going to concentrate on the main kind of like sort of storefront and stuff today and then we'll start doing the kind of like where they're going to be sleeping and everything else as the days progress and follow so without further ado i've talked long enough let's get into game and stop building so here we are my darlings on the last lot of strangerville bittersweet but i'm ready to move on to the next world now my loves ready to move on but this is going to be a very special build so i'm looking forward to doing this um nice big lot we've got to play with i think i'm gonna do like this kind of have this is almost a bit of like a car park as such really maybe just up the side and we're gonna do the store kind of around here and then we're gonna do that kind of like sort of residential areas with the chicken like coop and a nice cookout towards the back as well 
And I do want to try and get some trees around this lot as well because I know how important it is to have wood um, in a Native American family. Or the, from what I saw on YouTube, I watched this family. Uh, there's a, I will leave loads of links down below as well, including a really, really special one that helps out with the Navajo um, ancestry and culture and preservation um, and if you can, donate. I donated a little bit of money to them. Um, just, it helps keep their traditions and everything alive because it's kind of getting a little bit lost. And that would be a travesty to lose a culture's kind of like traditions and stuff. So if you can help, I know everybody's a bit like brassic at the minute. Like, um, but if you can, they would be appreciative and so would I. Uh, but that's where we're going with this. I thought it would be nice. I'm trying to be, uh, I'm trying to keep this as educational as possible, but still know my limits <laughs> because I know that I do not know everything about this sort of culture or everything, but being human, I think is always important to try and learn and appreciate. And my God, I appreciated every single thing that I watched on YouTube. It's just such a beautiful culture such a, they're all beautiful cultures every single one of them but the specifics that i actually looked into it was just so gorgeous there was this lady she's called the navajo Gra grandma she's a youtuber and she teaches you like how to cook and ah oh, she was so lovely she was so lovely i got such a lovely warm vibe from her and i was just enthralled with everything she was doing absolutely everything she was doing it was gorgeous. So I was very happy to just sit and listen. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> so anyway, I've got a little reference image here. I'm not going to pop it on the screen or anything. It's just of a basic kind of generic house that I saw on Google Maps around this kind of like place. Um, so I'm going to do it. The, the, the only reason I'm not going to get it up on as a reference image is because it is somebody's kind of house on Google Earth. And I don't want to <laughs> put somebody's house up from Google Earth when it's not my place to, you know? So I'm trying to be respectful of that. I don't really like that. So we're going to start that again. Um, I think I wanted like a double front, front, but I think I went a bit too far in there. So I may just come over there three and come out here and simplify it a little bit to how I had it then. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do, dialogues. Right. So there's like a little walkway around there and there's an entrance here. So what I could have this as really is maybe the entrance to the residential bit where they actually not live, but we need to make them have a place to stay, you know? Uh, and around here, I'm going to do the actual storefront, or oh, the store entrance, sorry. So I'm going to come out one more, I think, and then go to there. Let me see this. Yeah. And then I'm going to go two into there as well. How big do I want this shop? I don't want it to be huge. It's going to sell lots of cute stuff. We're going to get the grandma to do a lot of the knitting and sell lots of the knitted objects and candle making as well. I'm going to get that in there. It's the Sims. We're just trying to get as much crafting stuff in as possible. Um, but yeah, we're going to go down that route. I'm just going to come straight here. Am I? No, I'm going to go there actually. Let me see this. Yeah. Let me just box this in first. Because there's this little walkway that kind of goes all the way up there. So I think I'm going to make that apparent. Um, to about there. Let me get all of those walls up. I can't build with walls down. People build with walls down and it always weirds me out. I don't know why. Okay, so I think this... Let me just get something for scale. I just want like a desk or something in here for scale. So I can sort of see um, how big we want this store. That's probably a little bit too big. So I may, oh God. So I may just go down a little bit further, darlings. Just a smidgen. Nothing too hectic. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice size for a shop. Yeah, I think that is. Yeah, cool. Okay. Um, This is all going to be, uh, do you know what? That's just making life awkward. I'm just going to pull that to there. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I can... Um, just cancel this wall here and have that as a walkway, like over to that side there. And then this can be maybe at the start of the residential kind of bit. So this is what I'm going to do. So kind of main entrance into here. 
Um, I think what I want to do here is maybe a toilet on the side. Let me just see if that would look weird, kind of stuck out over to the edge there. No, it'd be all right. It'd be fine. I might just make it a little bit bigger and make it a full bathroom, you know. Make it a full bathroom. So the layout, I would kind of like it to not be similar to the ones that the one that we did down here. But I would like a little courtyard moment and stuff around the back, I think. Um, not a huge one, not as big as the one that we've just done, but I would like one. I would. I would really like one. Right, I'm going to do the little walkway there. Um, I think the dining, a dining room, I think the living area should be near here. So I think what I'm going to do is come, just box this in to begin with and see if I can break this down. Right, I need to now pull all the way, all the way along. Let me see. Yeah, I think so. Yes, okay. What they've got here, they've almost got like this kind of thing going on. Looks weird. But um, it might help mirror in that side as well. Roofing's going to be difficult on this lot. <laughs> because the roofing on this build that I've got, or this house that I found... It's lovely, but I just don't know if we're going to be able to recreate that, to be honest. I'll give it a go, though. I'll give it a go. Right, I don't want that all the way down. Okay, so. Toilet, that's weird. That's weird to me like that, but I'm going to keep that diagonal bit there. Toilet, we're going to come here. I need a little moment, actually. I need to do this off of camera. I think this floor plan, so just give me one second. Okay, so I've kind of got somewhere with... And I'm happy with how this is going to look, I think. I haven't put the roofs on yet. Let's hope that will work as well. So this is what is going to be the kind of master bedroom, really. I'm going to do the master bedroom. It's kind of above the shop, but it's also above the residential area. It's got access via stairs as well. I'll take you in there in just a second. Um, so this is going to be the entrance to the shop on this side. So the entrance to the store is going to be around here. We're going to have all of this moment inside where I'm going to put lots of lovely stuff, some stations and candle making stations and um, tapestries and stuff up on the wall. I'm going to do it. It's going to be lovely. I think this would be a perfect place to kind of get the kind of till area in, I think, around that. And then we can have lots of lovely stands and wall. We've got lots of wall space as well, so we can put stuff up. These are going to be kind of like bay windows, really. Um, we're going to put some nice windows in there. Now, this is where the entrance is now. So the entrance to the residential bit comes into this bit here. There's a toilet off to the side here. Little hallway that loops around. This area here is going to be the kitchen, the dining room. It's obviously got the stairs upstairs into the master bedroom. And then this is going to be the living area, which will open out onto this area here, which we're going to fill up like a farm, really, like with lots of places to grow plants and food and find your own ingredients and stuff. And this is going to be the kind of sleeping quarters, really. So I reckon the mum and dad will sleep up here and the two kids and grandma, she will have her own area with all of her own bits in there, I think, as well. Um, and we're going to really like raise the terrain up around the place as well. Just to like get a little bit of interest in here. Lots of trees. It's going to look lovely. It really is. But I just, I think we're going to go for that route. So it's kind of a, a new build really. The, the house I'm looking at, I wish I could show you. But as I said, it's somebody's house. I don't feel comfortable in doing that. I, if I found it on Google or something, then yeah, that would be fine. But it's the fact that I randomly found this on Google Earth. <laughs> which makes it weird to me. So we're not going to do that, my loves. All right, sorry. Sorry about it. Right. Now this here kind of goes to there. Yes. Right. And then I'm going to pull this roof in. Let's hope this works. Is that central into that bit? No. It needs to come out one more. I'm going to be putting roof lines on this anyway, so we'll probably be covering a bit of that. Now, this kind of goes around to about there. Yeah, that's nice. Round. I'm going to key it, keep it at a default shape as well. I'm not going to change the shape too much because it's kind of looking okay at the minute anyway. Now, this bit here has got a roof on top of it. Um, and it's got a similar roof to what we've just used, really. But it's just a little bit flatter. And I think all the flaps are indeed tucked in. They're tucked right in. Uh, I just want it to look... Yeah, no, that's nice. That is nice. That is not central, though, and that is making me absolutely fuming. So maybe instead of using one of these roofs here, 
I should go and put a half gabled in instead. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a half gabled instead and then find it centrally that way. So if I can pull it into there and then I can do a short bit on the back as well. So that's fine. Okay, we're going to pull you down now to about maybe there. I mean, I could... No, I don't think I could. I was just about to say, I could shorten this room down, but I don't really want to do that. And I like the way that that looks from the front there. We'll figure the back out in a minute. Let's concentrate on the front. Let's concentrate on what the front's going to look like, my loves. Because that is the most important. It needs to look beautiful. Um, It's got another roof line down the bottom here. So I'm going to get these in first at a good height. Yeah, that seems about right. Maybe just a little bit higher. Let me see that. No, I prefer it a bit more low profile. Yeah, we'll go low profile with it. Same here as well. Um, oh, damn. I needed to get a car, like a car parking space on the side here. So maybe I do need to move the lot over some. So I am going to move the lot over some, some more. I mean, that's not giving me a whole lot of room either, to be honest. Let me see this. Oh, no, that should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. Hmm. If I can move this one. If I can just move that one for the minute, I can move this. I can afford to move the lot a little bit more. Maybe like just two. Oh, God. Maybe just like two more. Posture, Aiden. I'm flopping forward here and it's not good. Um, That's a bit too much now. Yeah, it was like there. And then I can move that back then. Because I liked that kind of being snugged up. Uh, snugged up into the corner. We'll do that in a minute. Yeah, that's a bit better. It's got its own little moment here now, which I'm going to like gate in and everything. Everything's going to be like fenced in so we won't be able to see that. Ignore all this bit as well. I'm going to hide all that in a second with this roof line that I'm going to try and do. Oh, jeepers take the wheel. That's all I can say with this because I don't know if this roof is going to be possible in The Sims 4. And I never know that until playing it. Um, until testing it out, I mean. Um, whether a roof is going to work in The Sims 4 or not. I always have to test it. I like to test things. Testicles. Right. Um, you are certainly a little bit flatter, though. Oh, no. I suppose you're okay there, actually. Yes. Right. And then it's almost got, like, these um, roofs being the half-hipped. <laughs> the half-hipped roof. All the way across to here. And in that corner there. I'm going to cover that corner. Though this corner isn't in this build. I've put this in. So it might take a little work around to see how I can do that. Let me just see what that would look like. Like there. Let me see. Oh god. Ugh. Ugh. Sidious. Yeah, maybe not. That one's not going to work. I can tell that. So what I probably need to do is just do one like this. One like this, all the way along to there. And all the way along to there. And then I'm going to flatten this right down. Or at least until it looks okay in places. Mm, maybe. Let me just see what it would look like if I did that. Like there. It would look hideous. That's what it would look like, Aiden, darling. Um, What about higher than it? No. No, that's not right either. Um, I need a little think. So, after much deliberation, this is the roof line that we're going to go for. Uh, so, I've kind of made it quite low profile all through the front. Just so it sort of sits down quite nice and nestles down into the landscape quite nicely. Um, and I've changed the entrance as well. Having that diagonal entrance, it was just proven to be really difficult. So, we're going to do like a little entrance moment to the shop on here instead. Um... I just prefer it that way now. And it's a lot easier to roof in that regards as well. And around to the back as well. Kept it quite low profile. Now I've used the um, half hipped roofs at the minute. But I'm, I don't know. I couldn't find a roof that would suit this quite nicely. And they still fit in nicely. It gives it quite an interesting shape from the sides and stuff. But I would have preferred something a little bit different there. But I don't mind that. I don't mind it. I think it would look better and I've left it there because as soon as I put wallpapers and stuff on, I think that's when that will start to look a little bit better. I do. Anyway, so what I want to do is fence this area in. Now, I want to use this fence here in. 
We're going to go for a warmer wood vibe with this place, but it's going to be quite difficult to get a wood that would match in okay. Um, I think I'm going to go for this one. So I need to get spatial awareness here just so that it gives them privacy from their, the place where they are living, even though we said that they're on reservation. But this is The Sims and I need to kind of build for The Sims really. So I'm going to think about if you would, you would want privacy there. Why is that not going on there? Thank you. Do I want to raise the house up any though? No, I don't think I do. I'm going to keep it quite low profile. Low profile and down. I'm not going to do a fence down this way because as we said, I'm going to make a little kind of car park area, I think. And I think to do that, I'm going to get this stone that it, it matches in as best as it can. I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. We can see past it. And what I'm going to do is just move all of this up here as well. All the way up. We're going to completely gravel this drive area in. Or car park. And I'm going to do some more around here as well. Just all the way around. Stunning. Oh, this is very satisfying. Very satisfying indeed. Yeah, all the way around to like there. And then I'm going to kind of semicircle that bit in there. Like that. And you. Stunning. I can see you. Right. Okay. And then I do want a pathway as well. So I'm going to use the same gravel. I'm going to use the same gravel for the pathway to go to the the, uh, the kind of where they live. The residential bit. Residential. Um, eh, I don't really like that. In fact, I'm going to do stepping stones. We're going to do stepping stones up that way, I think. Maybe I'll just start the path. And then trail it off into stepping stones. Really don't like how um, harsh that is. I'm just going to soften it down. Oh, I feel like Bob Ross loves. I feel like absolute Bob Ross today. Yeah. And then I have stepping stone all the way up there. And we'll put some lovely plants and trees. I'm going to put lots of trees in front of this house as well, I think. Um, I think that's where we're going to go with it. Okay, and I do want to find something that will, I want to maybe do some like diagonal parking moments. I think that would make sense here. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do parking on this side, actually. I think I'll put bins and stuff out this way, maybe. So maybe using those, uh, these here would look quite good. If I can just do a few of these in a diagonal moment. Do they come in a yellow? Have we got a yellow one here? Oh, they got orange. It's not, you can't really tell the difference because of the lighting. How diagonal is that if I plonk them in that direction? Let me see this. Um, that's not too bad. I'm going to keep it as default diagonal so I don't have to go through <laughs> and change everyone individually. <laughs> I think it'd be all right once we've got a car in there. Once you've got a car in there, it'd be fine. Absolutely fine. So let me just lay all these down so you guys don't get bored. Okay. So I've put a, keep a couple of cheeky cars out here. We'll do lots more detail to the car park area in a minute. Um, I've just been looking at, I'm going to go for this wallpaper. And I'm going to use the um, solar shingle roof as well. Because this video that I was watching where um, they were talking, uh, there was this Navajo family that had, they were creating their own power. They were creating their own power. So they were practically off the grid, which was amazing. And I'm going to get inspiration from that, I think. Going to get inspiration from that and do some wind farms as well. Or maybe just a couple of wind turbines out in the back garden. Some solar panels on the roof. We've got to remember this is kind of a um, supposedly like a newish store. I reckon it may be built in the 90s or something. So I'm going to make this all wooden. I think this wood is the perfect one to use as well. It's slightly warmer, which is what I want to go for for this place. Um... And window-wise, I'm thinking the windows that are going to save us for this build are the snowy escape ones. I think the snowy escape windows would look amazing on this place. Um, yes, I do. I think it would look really cute. I like the shape of it from the front. That's cute. I like the way that that's looking. Some nice low-profile windows up here as well. Going to do some bigger ones than the one that the reference image has got here. In the reference image, it's like two, two smaller square ones. But because this is a store... We're going to open that out and make it look like a bit of a shop front. I'll paint that roughly for the minute, but we're going to concentrate on that at another time when we probably get into the back garden. The like, 
the little sleeping areas, I believe. Okay, right. I'm going to go for this steep stepped roof trim, I think. Maybe in this tone. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, we'll go for it in that tone there. On all roofs as well, if you would. Thank you. Stunning. Stunning. Gorgeous, gorgeous stunning. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, I can see something that's not been painted in there. I bet somebody else noticed that before me. I bet you any money. Yeah, that looks nice. Oh, that looks cute. I do enjoy that. I know it's looking housey at the minute, but I promise you we're going to make this look like a store on this side. So it will look like it's connected in. And I'm going to separate the kind of um, kind of residential entrance with a nice fence and stuff as well. So that, again, that will make it look a little bit more um, <clears throat> kind of separated and not just one house, which is what I want. Okay, right. Let's get picking some windows. So storefront windows here. I do still want them to look kind of traditional um i don't want them to look modern or anything really we've got to remember that this place would get very hot so big glass windows are probably not going to be the way forward I'm wondering if these would work on here that looks kind of cute but i would prefer them if they were open and i know that you they're supposed to be on the inside these shutters but i like them when they're on the outside mm, i don't know I don't know about that but first off, let me get those snowy escape ones up here because I think we've got the perfect ones um, to go on the top a bit more low profile, my loves. Low profile. How was your weekends anyway? We haven't chatted because I've been babbling along. Um, how was your weekends? Mine was lovely. Um, I am enthralled by cyberpunk. There's lots of bugs <laughs> in the game. I've seen flying cars. I've seen flying people. I've seen peens hanging out of pants. I've seen it all, darling. It's all been going on. But my God, I've been having so much fun with it. I really have. Yeah, those windows look good up there. So I've got itchy head. I think it's these headphones. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like them up there. Yeah, they look good up there. But it's just trying to find a matching swatch with the other ones now. Are these medium height walls? No, they're small height walls. So... Let's get rid of Snowy Escape. Some Escape? Slow, snowy Escape. And I'll try and find some good ones that will match in. So I've got these windows here from Get Together, I think they're from. Get to Work, sorry. They're from Get to Work. So they are the shop front windows. But I don't know what one I prefer. I think with this one, I can put it on all areas of the bay window. Whereas with this one here, I can only put it on the front. Um, I'm thinking more the square because this... The shapes just kind of match in a bit better with the rest of the house. So I think we'll do that. We'll do the, the square ones for the storefront on each of these windows here. I think that'd be lovely. Yeah. Yeah, I do like that. I do. I do like that. I don't like the way that that's cutting in there. That that's making me absolutely fuming. So I'm going to pull them out just so they reach the edge and not glitch out weirdly. There we go. And you? There we go. Stunning. Yeah, that's better. That's better. And I do think we need a couple of little low profile ones here as well. So maybe I could use the ones from upstairs here. Maybe just like one there. One in the middle there as well. Stunning. I'm not going to put one on that end there. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. That's looking a little bit more store to me now. I need to choose a really good... Um door for here so we were going not modern but semi-modern so maybe i could use the i want like like a shop door you know and that one there might fit the bill that one could this one could as well that one could fit the build too i'm thinking more along the lines of that one probably obviously i'm going to get rid of that wall there which we'll do now. I'll get rid of that. So it kind of goes into the shop there. Let me just see that. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's cool. Prefer it to the bigger sort of glass one anyway. I think that's nice. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Right. These are bugging me at the minute. So I'm going to put two chimneys on here. <laughs> I'm going to just slap two chimneys on here. I think what I'm going to go for is the seasons one. Yeah. And then I'll put a half wall on them. Um, can we get a better colourway like that? Yeah, that will fit in with the build a bit more. Uh, stunning. 
Oh, gorgeous. And I'm going to do a little half all around them as well, but I'll do that in a sec. Yeah, that's nice. It's almost making me want to do a bit of stone. Can we do a bit of stone? Can we do a bit of stone? That's a bit of a weird colour match to the wood there. They're not going to get a colour match to the wood, Aiden. Don't be silly. It's the Sims, for goodness. But I could just do few, um, the full stone one on a bit. But if I did that, it would start looking like a house, I reckon. Yeah, no, we're going to leave that. We're going to leave it. We're going to leave it. I just got inspired from the chimney, that's all. Okay, right. I'm going to start making this front area make a bit more sense now. I'm going to do some signage and stuff around. I'm going to do some vending machines out here as well, actually. Let me get them out. The ones from... Um, uh, Sim, Sim, Simmy's vending machines. Where are you? Here you are. So this is hot and cold. Tasty treats. Stunning. I'm going to do one of those there. So it's going to be like a general store as well, I reckon. So we may make this look a little bit good for like groceries and you can get everything in here. But mainly it's the arts and crafts. That is the big pull from the community. They love coming here. Freezy treats. Yeah, we'll get one of you as well. And I think one more. Bits and bobbles. There we go. So we got some little vending machines off to the side there. Yes. Oh, I like it. I do. I just want to start separating this area off now as well. So... I'm going to fence in where I'm going to do the point to. And I think I'm going to do a high fence. I think I'm going to use that same fence as what we've used um, on this bit. I think I'm going to use it around that bit there as well. I do. In fact, let's just fence this whole garden in while we're here. We may as well. They're going to have a huge area. Which is lovely. Do I want to go? No, I'm going to leave that bit open there. Because they would have great views. But... I will come out here with a fence, like here. And then wrap it all the way around. And then I'm going to have the point to maybe there. Because this window is going to be there. I don't want the window looking into the residential bit either. Oh, yes. Yes, this is coming together. Okay. Okay. Right. bit more terrain painting, I think. I'm going to get out those stepping stones as well. And I'm just going to start detailing up this place a little bit, look at, making it look a little bit more believable. So I've obviously terrain painted up here. Um, I'm going to do a few more of these stones over here because I think what I want to do on that area there is just put a little fire exit door just in case anything happens in the shop and customers and uh, everybody else need to get out. I'm trying to think realistically here. So I'm going to just gravel up, to, well, not gravel, but put stepping stones up into that point as well. Um, also, I thought I found the perfect sign for the arts and craft shop. I think that looks really nice. I just think that looks really nice and fitting. So I'm going to use that. And I've plonked it here. I wanted it there. But um, the door cuts in weirdly, which is a bit sad. But I'm going to put it there anyway. It's fine. Up to there. Gorgeous. Absolutely nice plant underneath of that, I think. Used, obviously, the dollar sign up there as well. Or the simoleon, sorry. Simoleon sign. And then we've got these vending machines on the side as well, which I'm going to put a nice, well, not a nice bin, but just a bin. A bin next to them. I think we'll go for the uh, the big bins that came with Eco Lifestyle as well. I think they would suit it here. May go for one with a bit of graffiti on it as well. What the local kids might have just come in and did, you know. Well, it's an art form, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Okay, right, and I want some trees now. I want some trees out the front here. And I'm thinking about the Joshua trees. So let me just filter everything down to Strangerville. And then I'll get some of the Joshua trees. I think it would look lovely against this build. Yeah, it does. I like that. And I like that height as well. I didn't think I was going to like them at this height. But I think it would look really nice with some rocks and stuff in front of it as well. Oh, gorgeous. How big are you? Oh, you're just a little bit smaller. So we'll have you as well. And I'm going to put you in that orientation. Oh, I like that. And then the little, the the peen one. <laughs> we'll put the peen one in as well. <laughs> Spiky peen. Love Joshua Jesus. They're such an interesting looking tree. I'm very much for them. And again, looking around at the landscape and seeing what we've got around here and pulling some influences of that in as well. Definitely want one of these, but I think I'm going to size it down and plonk it like around about there. 
Maybe a bit further in, actually, and a bit more like that. Oh, stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, was it you? It was you. You're coming to join the party. I'm going to put one of these bad boys. I don't really want to size it down again, but I think I'm going to have to. Put one of them in there. Um, I don't really want it near the tree too much, so I think I'm going to spin it to, like, there. Let's hope that's not cutting on the inside. Get rid of that grid. Oh, it is slightly lit. Just emphasis slightly. Is my microphone a bit farther farther away? Farther away? <laughs> is my microphone a bit farther away? Lovely. We've got another one of these in as well. I think I'm going to go bigger here. Giggity. So I'm going to move this cactus now. <laughs> After I just placed it nicely, I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it and put it there. Oh, it looks nice there. Yeah. And then I'll use a couple more of these greener ones. Just down to it as well. Down to it here. Lovely. How dare you say like that? Thank you. Um, do I want to do yellow? Do we want to get a pop of yellow in here as well? I mean, that would look nice. Let me get all the built. Yes. Oh, we have to. We have to, I tell you. We do. We have to. In fact, what I'm going to do is put a bigger one in here. But I will get rid of the gravel there and put this in. Is that floating? No. It was just spinning weirdly then. I thought it was floating. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And a bit more of this in here as well. I'll put a bit of you in there. I f if I remember rightly, these like really sway loads in game. So I never tend to use them very much because they're all like, well, they just sway. They sway everywhere. Like they're in the wind. Um. Yeah, no, that's nice. Yeah, that's starting to sit this build in now, you know? And it. I do get the feeling of separation over here with like the store area to this side, which is what I wanted. And I'm very glad we did that. Very glad indeed. <laughs> I'm on a bit of a weird one today, loves. I think it's Cyberpunk is doing weird stuff to me. Doing absolutely filthy stuff to me as well. That game is filth. The epitome of filth. I know I keep talking about it and I'm sorry, but... This is a game I've been excited for for like, what, eight years now? So <laughs> I'm ready. I'm <laughs> ready for it. So I'm going to share my excitement with my friends, you know? But I'm not going to apologise for it. Not in the slightest. Right, a few of these. A few of the, these little beautiful ones. Um, Very hot on nature as well, this family. Very keen on looking after the earth and their home, you know? They're, like, they, they're very proud of it. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. Do you know what would look good here? A little wooden seat moment. So I'm going to find that one from um, Outdoor Retreat. I'm whistling again. Yeah, I like this one. I think that would look great here. Or even a bigger bench, actually. Yeah, bench. I'm going to put it like there. In fact, I'm going to put it just there, like that. Do I want it straight? I mean, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, just that there. Maybe I could do like a little bin moment there. Like, a, oh, I know what. We could put this one. Is that a debug one? I don't want the debug one. I want this one. Just underneath of this. Is there any better colorways? No, that's the best we can do. Yeah, just there. They're not going to be able to use that because the sign's in the way, but... We can just pretend that they can. And it's all good. Oh, this is looking cute. This is looking cute. Yeah, this is what I'm in, kind of envisioning. I think we need more details and stuff on it. That's for sure. I'm going to finish off the front of the exterior just by putting on some uh, corbels, I think. No, yeah, corbels. I, I went all weird then. It's like, was that, are they called corbels? I mean, you use them enough, Aiden. Of course, of course you would know. Just a couple. Just a couple at the front here for a bit of extra detail. Gorgeous. We're going to put some nice stuff in the windows as well. So you can see it from the inside, from the outside. I think that would be cool. And we'll do some up here as well. We'll put one there. One there. One there. And then one at the end as well. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's a good start for today. I think that's where I'm going to leave this part today. Um, I still want to do lots of details out the front here. I definitely do. I'm thinking about maybe adding in a debug fence on this bit here. Maybe just like a low one. 
Um, in fact, we'll do that. We'll do that before we go. There's one that's low and I love it and I'm for it. I forget what it can. Oh, it's this one. Oh, there we go. That's the perfect one. And that'll just stop it looking like the cars can just like roll anywhere. Can I get two more in here? Hopefully. Oh, that might be a bit tight. Oh, oh, they got small ones. Stunning. Oh, didn't mean to, didn't mean for you to go like that. What are you doing, you absolute boob? Where did you go? Come here and fucking go there. <laughs> Don't fuss with me, darling. Do not fuss with me. Yeah, we'll just plonk a couple of these down here. Another one there. Stunning. And then I use these at the ends. Yeah, that's kind of like, sort of like solidified it in. I might do one in the middle, actually. So around about there. You know, I'll, I'll detail the terrain paint next time, but it just stops it looking like the cars could like roll out. Why is there like a weird bench there for? Well, I suppose it's the view, isn't it? You'll be here for the view, to be honest. Yeah, that's cute. That's starting to look really nice. So I think that we've made a nice start to the arts and crafts store. Um, Obviously, tomorrow we'll come back in and we'll do some more detailing. Um, get the front porch looking nice as well. Um, and see what else we can crack on with. Maybe start on the kind of like sort of sleeping area. I'm going to platform it up as well, I think, in the retail shop. Like I'd like it a, kind of tiered up in, in a way, like going like up towards the back, I think. Oh, it's all exciting. What kind of things do you think we should put in here to sell? Well, obviously, we're going to be selling uh, a lot of uh, like knitted objects and stuff. We've got to think Sims. I mean, we can't do anything like realistically. I wish we could have jewelry and stuff. That would be so cool. But we haven't. So what kind of things do you think would be in this store? Bearing in mind, I'm going to make it a bit of a general store as well. So maybe around this area, we could do it with like produce, some stores that we're going to, there's going to be a, like quite a, like a farm area here as well. So they would sell produce from there too. Um, but I'd love to get some ideas off of you guys. But I cannot wait to kind of like, I want this like to kind of go up to the back, if you know what I mean. I think that would look really cute. Really, really cute. Lots of wood on the inside. Lots of bright colours. Oh, it's going to be glorious, this. Can you wait? Can't wait to get started with this. Really can. So there we go, my loves. A, a start today. We've made a start on the last house of Strangerville. Um, I'm going to be inspired by this lot. I can feel it. I really, really can. And I cannot wait to create the characters as well for it. I might not make them in, for tomorrow. I think I'm going to make them for... I want to spend a bit of time in cast for this. So I might make them for the next part after tomorrow's part, um, which will be coming soon. I've got a lot more creative videos coming this week as well. So this particular build might take a couple of weeks for me to get finished, but that's the way it's got to be. Anyway, I'm going to leave you now. I will be live on Twitch tonight, 7pm GMT. If you want to come along and join, we're doing something in The Sims 4. Not sure as to what. Yeah, I've got a few ideas. So we'll, 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 we'll do that. We'll do that. Anyway. Goodbye, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.